hast me here at thy advantage, John. Madam, have a care. We are in the house of God. Not my house, nor my God. Here is neither heavenly love nor divine opprobrium. Here is haven for thy music's earthly passion. Thou art summoned next Monday forenoon at the petty session in Bury. This note was brought by messenger not an hour since. Summoned. The customary accusation. Which I do earnestly beseech thee to dispatch with all respect and duty. As I am dispatched. Thou knowest full well what I endured, imprisoned as a recusant. It would go worse with thee. So I am to express most fervently thy devotion to the Protestant cause, and solemnly swear that the Pope hath no dominion over thee. And then? Thou wilt be pardoned. I have friends who have vouchsafed this to me. I am. We are Catholic. And criminals. In Her Majesty's eyes, when she chooseth not to avert them. And thus pardoned, how shall I live? With more discretion than thou hast of late. In all matters. Let us away. Master Wilby! Your music ever delights. I thank you, Sir Thomas. Honey sucking bees, silly sylvans, declarations of fervent love. I hear of late you have to tend my lady. Sir, in so much as I am ever here to serve her. No matter. She's pleased with thee, which pleaseth me. But should she desire thee to forsake the secular? and set a mass, perhaps in Latin. I would counsel thee to be ever mindful that the Church of England sings in English on Sundays and on every other day. You mark me? Good. Dullard. Full well thou knowest, thy soul is not in this. The text is sacred, the sentiment is... Not fitting to glorify my lapdog, yet alone my god. Had my husband a hand in this? No. My hands alone. Then thy hands alone are guilty of a grave insult to me and to us. I bade thee humbly, and thou hast repaid me with this, this low music. Whatever thy labour gained thee, Master Wilby, be sure much is lost. <laughs> 